Obviously, I review a lot of bad Wii games, and there are two main reasons for that. Uh, one, I've been covering Nintendo platforms for a long time, so I have a pretty comprehensive frame of reference. And two, uh, well, the high quantity of Wii games of low quality dramatically skews what I like to call the Wii excrement ratio. You see, since most third-party developers basically treat the Wii like a shiny white toilet, the Wii excrement ratio is noticeably inflated. So when a good third-party Wii game comes along, at, at first, it's almost like an unexplained UFO sighting. You see some flashing lights, some strange movement, and you have no idea what the hell it was. But this is even stranger, because this isn't just a good third-party Wii game. This is a third-party Wii game so good, it's actually one of the best games on the platform, period. This is Boom Blocks, a close encounter of the Wii kind. Ever since it took the gaming world by surprise in 2008, people from seemingly every corner have praised Boom Blocks. Developed exclusively for Wii by Electronic Arts, it's one of those rare games that totally gets Nintendo's platform conceptually and also translates those ideas into a memorable gaming experience. It's the kind of unique and inspired game people expected from Wii in the first place. Like many classic games before it, Boomblox takes a simple and fundamentally fun concept and elaborates upon it. Super Mario Bros. was fun because running and jumping is fun. Wii Sports is fun because playing tennis is fun. And Boomblox is fun because throwing baseballs at your sister's Jenga tower was unquestionably, albeit unconscionably, fun. Now, I'm not saying Boom Blocks is as historically important as Super Mario Brothers or Wii Sports, but it shares an obvious conceptual approach. Sometimes a good idea doesn't need to be the most complex concept in the world, it just needs to be a good idea. And no matter how you slice it, knocking stuff over is a good idea. And basically, Boom Blocks is a lot like the aforementioned Jenga, only without those pesky rules that designate toppling towers as a failure. Instead, Boom Blocks is like playing Jenga with heavy explosives. The basic point of the game is to use objects to knock down blocks. The idea is obviously expanded upon in plenty of clever ways throughout the game's modes, but for the most part, Boomblox is just a puzzle game that dares you to knock down block towers by throwing things at them. The premise is beautifully simple, and it gives Boomblox an immediate hook. You don't need any convoluted explanations, because the game doesn't get in the way. It gives you a puzzle, it gives you a tool, and it challenges you to solve it. The game allows the experience to take center stage without needless complications. And like any great game built from a simple concept, Boomblox offers some incredibly clever twists along the way. Twists only made more engaging thanks to the game's impressive physics. But what really makes Boomblox special are its controls. You just point at the screen, lock on with the A button, and simulate a real throw with the Wii Remote. It's simple and intuitive, but it's also a lot of fun. And because the velocity of your throws depends entirely on the force of your motions, the controls feel genuine and responsive. More importantly, these motion controls feel beneficial. This is one of those Wii games that just couldn't have existed without motion control. And unsurprisingly, it's those games, the ones that embrace the philosophies of the console instead of avoiding them, that are often the best. Given the accessibility of its concept and intuitive nature of its controls, Boomblox obviously thrives in multiplayer settings. But what's more impressive is the way it bridges the divide between the so-called casual and hardcore gamers. The game is so fun and intuitive, it's an easy recommendation for families and casual players, but the puzzles are so clever, hardcore players will really be tested to think about possible angles and the consequences of their throws in order to fulfill each puzzle's objectives. There's even a level editor for them to create their own puzzles, so the game has a very broad appeal. 
Now, if you're new to Boom Blocks, uh, I'd actually recommend the 2009 sequel, Bash Party. That version has even more puzzles, an even more robust level editor with full online support, downloadable puzzles, it's basically a much bigger and more feature-rich package. But its comparative lack of features aside, this game's puzzles are just as good. So any Wii owner looking for an outstanding third-party title should look no further than this Wii Classic. An inventive game that shines because of motion controls and not in spite of them, EA's Boom Blocks is a real... blockbuster. <laughs>